So it's been two weeks since the AirPlay event happened, and holy shit, the media has lost their goddamn minds. In that two-week time frame, they have accused Gamergate of everything you can imagine. Just off the top of my head, these past two weeks, Gamergate has been accused of sending, and this is by actual journalists, by the way. This isn't just some random, no-name bullshitter. These are actual journalists who have said these things. Gamergate sent the bomb threat themselves, because reasons. Uh, Gamergate has raped women. Uh, Gamergate was involved or somehow tangentially related to the live murder of those two reporters that happened just a couple days ago. I'm not even kidding. Gamergate has been accused of somehow being even related to involved with that. ARE YOU FUCKING OUT OF YOUR MIND?! And it is one of the most disgusting and egregious examples of pure media bullshittery I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to have a link down in the description to a gentleman by the name of Harmful Opinions who talked about this and did two different videos on it in the same day because of their actions, which, by the way, I believe were intentional. I cannot believe that this was just pure stupidity on their part. Especially after the interview, which they removed, which is why... Uh, they got the second video from Harmful Opinions. It, if you listen to that interview, there is at no point in time anywhere you would think, yeah, this is completely serious. I'm not being taken for a ride here at all. No, this is, this is pure straight. That's all there is to it. At no point does that ever cross your mind ever from listening to that. So I cannot believe that any journalist would be so stupid as to think that that was real. They had to have known that was fake. And they didn't give a shit because it was what they wanted to hear. What I'm wondering is what the fuck is going on exactly? There's there's two things that I've thought of. Either journalists despise ethics more than anyone had ever thought and merely bringing it up and trying to enforce it upon them is such a heinous act to them that they have decided to Scorch Earth and try and destroy this group who wants to bring ethics. Or, and this is the one I'm starting to lean to these days, there is something that a lot of these journalists have done that we don't know about and they don't want us to find. I know that sounds conspiracy theory. The way that these people have ramped it up from harassment or trolling to rape and murder right after the AirPlay event cannot be a coincidence. There has to be something going on here. That is just too much for me to believe is pure coincidence. And it is 
they cranked it up to 11. I have not seen anything like this. It is insane. There, I'm pretty sure that there does exist a uh, journal list to, or a game journal pros to, or whatever they decide to call it this time. I think most people would agree that probably still does exist. I'm thinking, and again, this is what all thought on my part from here on. This is no basis in reality. This is just me speculating. I'm thinking that there may be something in one of these groups that has a lot of dirt that would get a lot of people fired or a lot of people sued. And they don't want that leaked. And this is a group that has not backed down and has actually brought it up about these kind of issues and they are scared shitless and want Gamergate dead. I, I honestly don't know what's going on anymore and I don't know what to expect anymore. It's, it has, it has become insane. It really has. Uh, I'm going to go now because I, I honestly have no more words for these things. And it, it's just, it, it's maddening. It really is. Uh, it, just stay on the lookout and you'll probably notice these kind of things too. But I would not be surprised if I saw more and more Gamergate murdered or Gamergate raped, etc. kind of reports for the next month. It honestly wouldn't shock me anymore. That will probably be the new norm. And that's kind of fucked up. Anyway, this has been Math Machine. Uh, kind of going tinfoil hat for a minute. Peace out.